Good morning guys, so I've just arrived at Pilates, I'm very early so I'm the only one here, hence why I'm brave enough to vlog, um, but I've not done Pilates, well once actually, um, but I've not been back at Flow since before New York, which was what, Chan, was that Chan? So yeah, wish me luck, I'm a little bit nervous, I've still got a hair mask in, but... <laughs> Good morning guys. So, done Pilates. Let me try and turn that light off. Is that any better? So, excuse the hair mask. I'm yet to wash that out, but Pilates was good. The burn was real. But I'm glad I got over my fear of going back. I always get scared to have my first session back but I've got over my fear and done that now I'm home I need to be in I think pretty much all day because there's like building work going on so if you can hear banging that is why I think it'll be happening all week pretty much um, as of putting in new windows and putting up scaffolding and taking the scaffolding down and all that jazz but it will definitely be worth it so i've not really planned that much purely because i think i'm gonna have to be in the house on a plus note i just feel like the house is slowly slowly coming together obviously the wardrobe room well the wardrobes are in the room's not done but the wardrobes are in now new windows being put in i've got a new bench which i'm obsessed with like how cute it's so hard to tell because obviously the kitchen is so narrow but and i need to sort the bin situation out i've just not really got room for a bin so ideally i want to take out the tumble dryer which is in there which i don't use it's so old get rid of that and like maybe use that as a bin but i'll figure out that another time but how sweet is it i also picked this vase up from tk maxx I can't find it online, but they did have a few in store. Obsessed with that. And then after Pilates, I popped into Primark because I went there on Saturday and saw a few home bits, but it was so chaotic that I walked in and literally walked out. Um, but let me just quickly make some oats. And then I will show you what I got from Primark home. Okay, I'm gonna do the haul in here just because it's so noisy out there. So I picked up these little placemats because my table should be arriving this month, which I'm um, super excited about. So just this little cute flower placemat which I thought was super cute and also I thought they'd be good for the summer like I'm gonna get a new table and chairs out there and yeah I just thought they were super cute they were £3.50 I just got four of those um the table I'm actually getting is just a two-seater but I am just going to get like extra fold away chairs that I can add when I have more than one person around. Um, I got this sweet little candle. Is it focusing? Okay, I don't know if I think it's focusing, but well, that was super sweet. Then I got this bowl, which I thought would look good on the bench. And I don't know, I thought it could like double up as um, a fruit bowl. Just like a plain black bowl and that was six pounds super cute so i'm gonna put that on the bench somewhere and then maybe stick some fruit in there i also just got these oh well that's good they're broken oh that's fine um also just got these two candles i'm just gonna burn that down 
so then the bendy bit. I'm so sorry about the banging. Um, and then I got these little candle holders. Super simple, super plain, but I just needed some candle holders. And they were £1.80. So I'll just stick those. Like I just got some clean cotton spray. But basically I just really liked the bottle as well. So once the spray is gone, I'm just going to take the labels off and keep the little bottle because that will come in very handy. And then I also picked up all... Oh, nearly lost them. <laughs> then I just picked up two of these. I might go back and get two more. Um, matches my candle. And then I got this little vase, which I thought was lovely, and that was £10. And to be honest, that can pretty much go anywhere around the house. I might put it in my bedroom or the living room. I'm undecided. But yeah, I thought that was super cute. This is my go-to breakfast at the moment. I've got oats, banana, strawberries, honey, and some seeds. Okay, I've got a few seconds of no banging, so... I'm not funny either. I'm going to quickly show you my parcels that have just arrived. Honey got gifted a box from Space NK. It came with the most beautiful biscuit. It's honestly the softest, nicest thing ever. So we're currently munching on that. The Hair Care Heroes. So we've got Olaplex, which I've used before. Then we've also got the Living Proof Dry Shampoo. I love this dry shampoo. It's my absolute favourite. I also just love Living Proof. But two new products that I've never used before. We've got a strengthening treatment oil, which isn't going to focus. But then this one, which I'm most excited for, is the Instant Recovery Serum. So... This is what it looks like. The packaging, absolutely beautiful. Apparently you use it with damp hair before you put heat on it. So I'm gonna give that a go. So I'm very excited to try those. Um, and I will link them all down below and let you know how I get on with the new product. And then, I also got this, which I'm not quite sure what it is yet. Also, there's friends on in the background. I don't know if anyone else is the same, but I just love to have background noise. And friends for me is so comforting. So it's from Charles and Keith. And you've probably heard me speak about them before because I'm literally obsessed with them. They just do the coolest like leather accessories and I just find their items are a little bit more interesting than like, I don't know, some of your other places. Boots that I literally live in, but actually from Charles and Keith as well. So, comes in these little beautiful dust bags. So first of all, we just have these little flaps. I need some good flat shoes and they did have a pair on Zara that I actually did try on in store pretty much like these but rather than the bow they had like a silver buckle but they were just so wide fitted and they just didn't look good on me. Then I saw these and I just thought they would look really nice so I'll style them up at some point. But I thought they were good. And I also need like a smart flat shoe. Other than trainers. I haven't really got any flat shoes. But, oh, I do have my Prada loafers. But obviously they're quite chunky. So they don't really go with everything. Then. How beautiful is this little bag? As I mentioned, they do the most beautiful leather accessories. And I just thought that was super sweet. Got a little flower buckle there. I just love that. And I haven't actually got a white bag like this. Also, it feels so soft. It feels like butter. It's a big one. 
Like, when these ones, I thought these were super fun. But, they're just like this netted crochet chunky trainer. But for spring and summer, how beautiful. Sorry, I really don't know where the remote is, so I can't turn it off. Um, but I just thought they were so beautiful. They're kind of giving me like Chloe vibes. But a great purchase for spring. Good morning, guys. So I'm going to do a quick workout from home. Nothing too wild. Because honestly, the body aches from yesterday's Pilates. Oh my god. When I woke up this morning and stretched, I was like, ouch. Um, but I just want to move my body because I'm going to be stuck indoors all day today. As you can see, um, the new windows get put in today. So I have to be indoors with the builders all day. Um, so yeah, I just want to quickly move my body, stretch and get like a quick workout in. And then I'm probably not going to vlog much today. I don't really know how this is going to work. It's going to be very cold in here. And obviously I'm just going to be in the way. So... Yeah, probably not much to show you today, to be honest. Good morning, guys. Got to be quick because I've got to leave in literally two minutes. But I'm off to try a new class. I'm a bit nervous. But I'm going to give it a go. Getting out of my comfort zone. This is the current state of the house. <laughs> that was the quickest workout of my life. Um, So I just left. Was waiting. There's a train strike today. Which normally doesn't affect me because I don't live far, so I can just jump on the bus. But I was waiting and it was just chaos. So there was two buses. I just drove past because obviously they were so full. There were so many people waiting for the bus and I just thought to myself, one, these people probably need to get to work. So, I mean, that takes priority over me going to workout class. And two... I probably would have made my class because I left super early, but I just thought it's not worth the risk of like getting there, then missing my class. It's a new class. I get a bit anxious and like I need 10 minutes before I can like jump into it. Do you know what I mean? So I walked back home. It's absolutely freezing outside. Like my hands. Wow. Um, so yeah, that is what I'm wanting to say far. So I'm going to do a quick workout from home. I just really wanted to get out of the house, to be honest, because obviously I'm stuck with the builders. And same again today. So I kind of just, like, I literally did not move from that spot all day yesterday. And obviously I can't really work, can't really do anything, so I'm just sat here like this. For, like, ten hours. <laughs> so I just wanted to get out and stretch my body. But anyway, we've got some updates. There is literally dust everywhere. I can't wait to clean. But the new windows are going in. Obviously, ignore how they currently look. That's the update. Guys, it's currently, I think maybe half eight in the evening and I've literally just been able to leave my bedroom the builders have gone for the day but obviously they're doing their job and it's going to be so worth it in the end but I'm just so ready for it to be done I don't know how anyone does a renovation and lives in the house obviously I'm not doing a renovation but my god <laughs> I was literally stuck in my bedroom for 12 hours today and I couldn't really do much other than just sit there and I forgot to take a snack and drinks with me so I've literally just eaten for the first time all day <clears throat> but as you can see stuff is just everywhere still I'm just trying to polish because this place is like thick dust I'm back I have my house back for now anyway but the builders came around this morning i think it's i don't know what the time is maybe like 10 a.m 
So they've been around this morning, they have to come back to finish some bits, but I'm just so happy to have my house back for like a week at least. And I can just clean and I can hopefully get some work done. They were the loveliest, loveliest builders ever. They didn't really speak much English, so all they kept saying is sorry. Every time they walk past me, they're like, sorry, sorry. They were so polite and so kind. And it's obviously not their fault, like they're just doing their job. But my God, does it feel good just to be in here by myself. <laughs> I've got a lot of cleaning to do. I did start yesterday, but honestly, like how do you get rid of the dust? This is my current, like that's how thick the dust is. But I'm just gonna enjoy some peace and quiet for the morning, gonna make some breakfast catch up on some work and then really want to try my workout class that I did try to go to yesterday but I couldn't because of the tube strike um so I'm going to try and book a class today there is still tube strikes but I can get a bus there the only reason I couldn't go there yesterday is because I was going rush hour and it was so busy and I couldn't even get on the bus so I'm hoping if I just go at lunchtime, I'll be able to get there. And then I'm gonna spring clean. And then tomorrow, I'm just so excited to get back into routine and actually get some work done. But yeah, I feel like this is gonna be the most boring vlog ever. Have I even left the house? Oh, I did go to Pilates on Monday, didn't I? Sorry for the washing machine, but this arrived, I think yesterday, no i don't know when this arrived this arrived this week when i say this is the nicest smell ever apparently i put it on my instagram and someone said rihanna wears this um and it's apparently her favorite but i think i have a new favorite scent it's so nice okay i'm just in the midst of cleaning but i just had a delivery sorry i know this angle is so bad um lauren grace made me order this and so did Rochelle Fumes. I always see it on their stories. And today, or well, today's like my warm up. Tomorrow is when I really get my life back. <laughs> I met on Instagram yesterday, um, someone messaged me being like, I feel like you've been down recently. And I wouldn't say I've been down, but I just feel like I've been in a rut because I've not been able to leave the house. <laughs> First of all, I had builders in the house for like a week. Then they left and I was like ready to get out of the house. Then I got so sick and I then couldn't leave the house. And then obviously the week just gone, I then had builders again in the house. So I feel like I've been in limbo for a month and I think I've genuinely left the house probably about three times in the last month and obviously I've not really been able to do my job because I can't really film and I can't even get dressed because the house has been a mess anyway this, this isn't me moaning <laughs> but today obviously the builders are gone I'm getting the house back in order and I'm just going to get my mojo back one of that being my health um so i've seen a few people take this and they swear by it so i went online and ordered it i think i literally ordered it like yesterday so it arrived very quickly how do i open it then i think maybe you can get it from like whole foods or planet organic or stuff like that I just ordered it online, they had like a deal and it ended up being very cheap. So I would recommend going online and ordering it there because I think I managed to get each bottle for like, I want to say like £14. Um, so yeah, I got a deal. Actually no, I think I paid £25 for the whole four bottles and they're very big like this is the bottle it's water based food supplement with live and active bacteria you're basically meant to take it 10 minutes before you eat or drink so yeah i'm adding this into my diet as well as like my usual vitamins and 
collagen. It's just gonna become part of like my daily routine. I went for the strawberry and raspberry flavor. Lauren said it's actually not the worst taste, but you literally take a shot like that big. So probably not gonna be the best taste, but I can definitely suck it up. I mean, the way I can neck back the tequila shots when I want to, I'm sure I can neck, down, <laughs> neck that down. I'm just very excited to get my flow back. Um, I've booked a fitness class, so I need to leave pretty soon, I think. Um, I'm gonna quickly mop the front room floor and then just get ready for my class. I've already got my gym kit on anyway. Today is just, oh my God, like, today is just like an organizing day and then tomorrow I'm gonna get back to work. I also really need to book my hair in, but I've actually just confirmed a very exciting trip for next month, which I'm beyond excited for. So I'm just really trying to like hold out and have fresh hair for then. But I mean, he's a good old pamper. That's what I'm gonna do tonight. Also, another thing I'm gonna go on a ramble now. <laughs> another thing I'm gonna do is stop talking negatively about myself like i i normally just do like throwaway comments and nothing like too deep but i was watching a tiktok about it and how like bad it is for you and i was like do you know what i do that so much even like, when i get out the camera my first thing i say is ignore the state of me like all the time and oh god i look so ill and i look so rough when i'm just not gonna put, just not gonna even bother saying any of that but anyway, let's stop running and get on with cleaning. just got back from my class which I done yesterday so I don't really film yesterday purely because I was just getting back into the flow <laughs> of actually just leaving the house but I tried a new class which is called FS8 um, so if you've heard of F45 it's basically part of that but the thought of F45 has never really um, appealed to me because I hate cardio and apparently that is very cardio based. But FS8 is like a Pilates version. So I went for my second workout today, which was so good. Honestly, I feel like every single part of my body works harder than it's ever worked before i feel like if you've done three of those classes a week you'd probably be in the best shape of your life um so yesterday i done like a it's called a blast class so there was like three sections and you have like nine exercises in each section and then today the class was split up into two and again i think you do nine exercises for 90 seconds in each part so part of it was split into mat work with weights and then the other part is pilates so you really burn but like in a good burn um i'm currently on a trial but i think i'm gonna sign up because honestly i mean <laughs> i've only been for two classes but i feel in such good shape from it and i just feel like if i was to continue doing that i would get in great shape i'm gonna drag my friend along next week as well for the class um but i'm gonna jump in the shower wash my hair i've not washed my hair all week i've currently got um a hair mask in hence the hat and i'm actually gonna get ready for the first time this week which i'm excited for but first of all i'm gonna take this which I mentioned about yesterday because I'm gonna jump in the shower and then 
have some breakfast and apparently you need to take it 10 minutes before you eat or drink and i'm going for a cup of tea um i did also just pop to get some strawberries some more milk also i popped into primark because one i just needed baskets for my drawers i also got this little washing brush from the plates i thought that was cute um but i think i was did I mention it? I think I mentioned I got like these army pants from, I mean, look at those abs, <laughs> from Primark. And I got a size eight, I'm normally a size six, but I got size eight because I thought I want them a little oversized, but I felt like the size eight was even a bit too tight. So I've gone for a 10. I mean, they do look big, but we'll try them on. I'll let you know because if you are looking for them, I would suggest a size up regardless. Um, yeah, that's it. Oh, I also did get this little cardigan. Just a khaki cardigan. It was literally £8. But I thought they would look great together with my sambas. Um, but anyway, let's give this a go. What do I do then? When I put, I put this on my story saying I'm gonna implement this into my um, morning routine and so many people said they take it and they swear by it. I think it takes like um, a month or two months until you notice the difference. But, I mean, it doesn't smell bad. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Okay, my baby, that is absolutely fine. I forgot to show you the main thing I came on here to show you. <laughs> so as I was leaving Primark, I had already paid. I saw this and it was literally 12 pound, but I thought it was so nice. Don't feel like it's gonna come across on camera, but it's just like this line canvas, but it's like linen and it's stitched. So I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. Um, but yeah, it's linen and it's stitched and it's so nice and it was £12. So I'm either going to put it there or replace it there or let's go. The house is still a mess by the way, don't judge me. Or, I've got this random shelf bit here. So I think it's gonna live here. But how sweet. Guys, I cannot tell you how delicious these are. I'm obsessed. So I've literally been organizing and spring cleaning. I feel like that's all I've done in this vlog, but I'm currently going to attempt to put my curtains back up. Um, normally I have lovely Lauren Grace <laughs> to hit to be here to help me. She's like my curtain girl, but she's not here. And my neighbors can see in because I've got new windows and they've not got the frost in, which I have got, but I wanna get the windows cleaned before. Very boring story. Basically, I'm just gonna try and attempt to do it myself, which might be a challenge because it's not heavy. It's fiddly and long, so you kind of need two people, but we're independent gals over here. So let's give it a go. I was very important to her. I'm very much in love. I've done it. <laughs> 